In the previous video, we were introduced to the three classes of levers. These images that we will look at in a minute, again, show us the difference of where the effort arm and load arm on the three classes of levers are located. In a first class lever, the effort arm and the load arm meet at the fulcrum. In a second class lever, the effort arm extends the length of the lever while the load arm overlaps the effort arm. In a third class lever, the load arm extends the entire length of the lever while the effort arm only overlaps part of the load arm. In both first and second class levers, your mechanical advantage is always going to be greater than one because the effort is greater than the load. In a third class lever, your mechanical advantage is less than one, so there really isn't any force advantage. Now, we will answer a few more questions about the force and effort arms on levers. First, which type of lever could have the greatest mechanical advantage? That would be a first class lever, because the effort arm and the load arm never overlap. Next, which type of lever would actually have an effort force greater than the load? This would be a third class lever. Since the effort arm is always smaller than the load arm, the mechanical advantage is going to be very small. Remember, the mechanical advantage of third class levers are actually less than one, which means that the sacrifice is the force, but the advantage is the distance traveled. Let's take a look at one more example. We have a pair of pliers with a mechanical advantage of six. What class lever is this? It will be a first class lever since the fulcrum, or hinge, is in between where you apply the effort force and where the load force is on the opposite end. Also, we know that the first class lever has a mechanical advantage greater than one. Next, if a force of eight pounds is exerted on the handle, what force is exerted on the wire of this pliers? In order to find the load force, we will take the effort force and multiply by the mechanical advantage. We will be using this idea quite a bit in later sections. We will take the eight pound force and multiply that by the mechanical advantage of six. This gives us a load force of 48 pounds, which means 48 pounds of force is applied to the wire. This concludes our overview discussion on simple machines and specifically levers.